Okay, y'all, you know I did that try on lookbook the other day with all the beautiful colored lace wigs. They were synthetic and I could not get enough of the pink. So Double Leaf reached out to me and wanted to send me a new wig. And I opted for pink, but this time I wanted to do an ombre so that it had a dark root to look much, much, much more complimentary to my skin. This one is a really nice lace wig. There's lace in the front, lace in the back, three combs in the front, one in the back. And there are adjustable straps. She's 18 inches and I'm going to go ahead and add an elastic band. This way the wig will lay and fit super nice and still be glueless. So how I do it is I go ahead and put the wig inside out on the mannequin head. I take my um, elastic. Usually I'll use either two inches or one and a half. Today I'm using a two inch elastic. I measure how much I need, cut off the excess and I begin to sew. So I do have a tutorial on how I do this a little bit more step by step coming up um, tomorrow actually. It's already filmed. But when it comes to my lace wigs that come with combs, it's easy to guide or it's easy to match it up and use those combs there as a guide to kind of just do it in front of. You guys have seen me do this before but I'm going to show you how to do um, elastic band with wigs that don't have combs. So here we are at the next step, which is to go ahead and tint the lace, conceal the knots kind of sort of thing. And I'm just going to use a powder. Now I see a lot of people do this and I've done it quite a few times. And pretty much you just take a holding spray and you spray it on top of the powder you've added. And this is supposed to seal in or hold in that powder. Personally, I feel like when I do this, the color of the um, powder that I put is not as vibrant as it usually is. Like you guys see there, usually you can see the color through a whole lot more when I don't add that. I've tried it many times and I didn't like it. I tried it again, you know, for the sake of this video and I've come to the realization you might not ever see me do that again I don't necessarily think it holds it in place it just sort of moves it so that it doesn't um, feel as vibrant as it should so here we are cutting off the lace I do this in most of my videos so you guys know the drill start in the middle cut half and I do each side at a time all you want to do is pretty much move as much of the hair and baby hair out of the way cut all of the lace where you don't and you pretty much will use like where you see dots or your knots start and kind of use that as a guide of where you don't want to cut um, if you have like um, a super thick widow's peak then you might want to go around that um, if you have like sideburns and you want to go around that some people have a lot of hair like near their temple um, on each side you go around that but you just kind of make it fit your head shape there are also some people who like to leave excess lace I just find that makes the wig more detectable so I literally will start or cut literally right in front of where my um, knots start or the hair starts um, this one is pre-plugged and I love it you guys can see clearly that they did an amazing job pre-plugging pre this wig so I'm just gonna go ahead and separate what I would need as baby hair and I'm gonna cut that down to about an inch half an inch quarter inch depends on your mood or what you're liking normally I like a quarter inch today we're gonna be doing something different I think I've done this once before on my channel like a while ago I'm gonna use the pump it up spritz now normally I would I would use the got to be glued how do you say it got to be glued blast freeze spray as you guys can see this one is a lot more um, liquidy watery so it does move um, make sure you have your alcohol ready because you're gonna have to clean up um, all the excess spray off of your forehead and I'm just using the end of a rat tail comb to sort of secure that and make sure that it's laying flat and that it dries exactly how it needs to you can also use what um, product is there to sort of train that baby hair to go in the direction of um, the way you're gonna swoop it and I kind of also will use my fingers while it dries let's go ahead and have a little bit of coffee my favorite now I can't get enough of this edge control I've been loving it so much but I'm gonna go ahead and use this to curl ahead and swoop the baby hair now I've been doing my baby hair pretty much the same way for a while I think I'm gonna switch it up in the next one and kind of show you guys how I do it when I don't do any baby hair I think I do baby hair on camera um, as a habit but I do not wear baby hair every day just a disclaimer because I know in every tutorial you pretty much see me do this and this time around I'm just using a toothbrush I picked up a, like a two pack of these two brushes from Target they've never touched my teeth and they never will um, I like to use a toothbrush 
kind of got to make sure you get the right one. You kind of want one that's not too soft because I like it to be a little bit firm to kind of sort of make sure it's brushing those hairs in place. It's like a nice firm to brush is what you need. And the great thing is that when you use stuff like got to be glued, it will make your toothbrush like super hard. So if you go through um, like toothbrushes or baby hair brushes often, these are a lot more a lot more affordable and accessible to be able to replace them. But pretty much we were done and then I was dancing and I was like, wait a minute, but you can see my lace so much. So the pump it up is not going to melt the lace like the freeze spray I like the freeze spray because when it dries it makes the lace super nice and least less detectable with that pump it up you can see so many like air pockets air bubbles I'm not sure what you would call it but it definitely does not make for a smooth application like the got to be glue spray it definitely held the wig down but if you just want it to melt and you know your lace to look like it's melted that's not going to do the trick or at least it didn't do it for me so I'm going to do a center part. You guys seen the side part. On the sides there's probably about an inch. In the center there's maybe about two to three inches of parting space. I'd say that's about three. Wish there was four to six. I feel like four to six should be standard with all wigs these days because nobody wants little parting. But whenever you get um, a small amount of parting you just make it do what it do. I use foam lotion around the crown of the head. Work that in and I seal it with the um, curling iron. And as you can see, this wig is already starting to look a lot more um, realistic and so much better um, and less like wiggy wiggy. Like you know it's a wig, but you don't want it to look wiggy, if that makes any sense. I use my little silken sheen, my favorite oil sheen, to kind of add an oil. Something that will help the curls kind of maybe weigh the hair down just a little bit and add a little bit of shine. Now you guys know I'm not the best when it comes to curls. At that point I should have went ahead and pinned that. Like I'm so mad at myself I should have did pin curls. I'm very impatient with curls. I like quick and easy hairstyles. This took me probably about half an hour just because I'm not that great with curls. But as I told you guys I'm trying to do curls a few times a week just to practice. Because I don't necessarily know how to hold the curling iron for like the flawless curls. Now these came out pretty good. But I still feel like I didn't hold the curling iron the way I should have, if that makes any sense. So with each curl, once I curl the hair, I hold the curling iron at the very top for maybe about 15 seconds. You want to hold it there long enough to make sure that you go ahead and um, give the hair enough heat to hold the curl so that it doesn't drop. I did like this hair because it did hold a curl very 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 well um there is straight hair that definitely does not hold a curl well some hair frizzes up this pretty much did the thing did the damn thing when it came to holding the curl so i did use spritz or not even spritz this is uh my sebastian shapers um, I did miss the shapers on a couple of curls, but I was just, just wanted to make sure that after all this hard work in the end, when I combed the curls out, it did not just drop. And even the ones that I did not add the spritz to, um, did not drop. So this is awesome hair for curls. If you want to secure your curls, no matter how good you are at it, definitely um, invest in some nice flexi rods. That way at night you can just do like maybe six to eight flexi rods or even more if you have time and that way when you wake up you can have nice gorgeous curls I promised you guys that I would do a tutorial on flexi rods that is also coming up hopefully this week now we're done with one half and I just go ahead and seal it with my Sebastian shapers I'm gonna put on some makeup in just a moment again because I used that spray on the inside my um, parting is not as clockable or unclockable as I would like it to be so I'm just going in with that same fit me powder and I'm just loading it there I like to overload it because by the time I keep brushing the hair moving the hair and all that by the time I get out of the house it kind of blends down to the perfect consistency to look very natural and you know get rid of as much of the knots as possible so that people are not seeing knots when they're close up on me and make the wig just all over blend in with my skin Now I went ahead and used a wide tooth shower comb to go ahead and release the curls. Absolutely love it. Right side came out better than the left side. Maybe because I'm left handed. 
went ahead and did my makeup and boom oh you gotta add your little lifts I don't know what these are called but you use your free spray seal it in with a little bit of heat so that it just sits up and kind of shows off all your work and just looks super duper 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 popping and that's it bomb right Okay, y'all, I am about to get in the kitchen and cook some chili for my babies. It is a nice and warm, actually. It's not even that cold, but it just feels like the holiday season. I'm in the mood for chilies. So I'm going to cook some chili. But I have to go ahead and give you guys a quick outro. Probably should maybe cut a layer here to kind of have it more of a nice gradient effect but you guys see I am not amazing when it comes to the curling iron but I am doing my due diligence to practice and get better at it um not always easy to make pink work on brown skin key is to have good situations going on with the lace I don't know what it is but I kind of feel like my normal powder which is the fit me is a little bit red and a little bit dark to my liking so I am going to go ahead and pick this up in a shade lighter in a shade darker that way when I do different colors such as so I can have the right color but so far as far as foundation powders go Maybelline Fit Me has done me right because it's never or it's usually never too red like when you get close it kind of looks red but from a distance it's not too red I'm also a little bit off center with my party which is gonna bug me but anyways um yeah it's a nice pink ombre I love the dark root touch it seems that the dark root is almost like a black um and then I like the fact that the baby hair is dark too because sometimes when you have pink baby hair it's hard to see it and hard to make it look realistic all in all the wig fits amazing the cap construction is amazing the hair was amazing to work with um, no excess shedding no tangling nothing crazy and you guys can see with minimal product it curled like a dream again this one is 18 inches so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this quick one don't forget to check out double leaf all the information is in the description bar for you to check out also don't forget to like subscribe comment share this video with your friends I am still on the road to at least 30 videos up this month. I really want to try and double upload and triple upload a couple of times this month because I've already hit 100,000 but I'm not stopping there. I'm trying to get to 200,000 and I'm on the hustle to make it happen. I don't want to wait like a year or two years to hit that number when I know I know I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. With your guys help of course. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and as always I'll see you in the next one. Bye.